Shiva, in his Nataraja form, is representation of the powerful Cholan kingdom of southern Bharatam. In this form, he represents the dynamism of the entire universe, from its manifestation, maintenance, and dissolution. Shiva surrounded by an aureole of flames, meaning the cycle of life and death. His flittering hair locks, river goddess Ganga, remover of ignorance. The serpent coiling his neck, thrice represents past, present, and future while the rising crescent above forehead, Chandra Rekha, denotes time, Mahakala. In the right earlobe of Nataraja hangs a crocodile-shaped earring denoting Shiva's sagaciousness. Another elaborate one on the left represents the female entity. These two combine to portray Shiva as a guru with masculine and feminine characters. Displaying four ambidextrous arms performing omnifarious deeds, the upper right hand holds a drum called Damaru. Its sonorous rhythm created the universe. Om. The left upper hand holds the eternal transformative fire of destruction, birth to death, and thus it keeps the universe on its wheel. The lower right hand is Abhaya Hastam, the blessing hand, affirming Lord Shiva's assurance of safe existence. The gesture of left lower hand holds Dola Hastam, a munificent hand gesturing that the benefits of living are bestowed upon dying, moksha. The posture of the right firm foot represents Shiva's omnipresence. The suppressed demon under the feet is disease, death and decay, natural to all life. That this demon is not killed implies living without these evils is a promise Shiva offers only to the knower of truth. The left foot raised from the ground is termed as Mokshapada, that the Lord is available to the seeker for salutation and salvation. Lord Shiva Nataraja thus dances through Lasyam and Tandavam, objectively personifying the eternal dynamism of the universe, the myriad of its expressiveness, Wondrous, auspicious, blissful, incessant, eliminative, dissolutive. <laughs>